Am I the asshole? For not adopting my dying best friend's dog and buying a puppy from a breeder instead? My best friend is dying of cancer. He could pass away any moment. Today, I was visiting and showed him a picture of the German Shepherd puppy I just put a security deposit on. It will be ready to take home in four weeks. I've always wanted a German Shepherd puppy, so I was excited to show him the pictures and I thought maybe the pictures would bring him at least a moment of joy even if the moment was fleeting. But instead of sharing my excitement, things became awkward. After a few minutes of awkwardness I asked him what was wrong. I was blindsided by his response. He said that his cousin, who was supposed to take his two-year-old pug named Horace could no longer take him and I could save a lot of money by taking his dog. I looked over at Horace and he looked back at me. Well, he tried to look at me but he's got one wandering eye that pretty much is always looking towards the ceiling. I could feel his glare with his good eye though. Horace is not a good dog. This is not me being an asshole this is simply me knowing Horace. He's a little shit and on top of that he shits in the house and he tears stuff up. He's always yapping. He's always wanting something. He doesn't even know what he wants. He literally just wants to want something. Non-stop. He was never properly trained. Overall, I'm not a fan of the pug dog breed. Their faces look it's been hit with a shovel. They are always gasping for air with their eyes bulged out as if they are stranded without a space helmet in the Martian atmosphere. I told my friend, no thank you. But, I will try to help you find him a good home. Really? He says. Are you effing kidding me? You've known Horace since he was a puppy. I know, that's why I don't want him. He's just not a good dog. Wow. You are such an asshole. My friend says. So, am I? Please contact a pug rescue and tell them of the circumstances. They will reassure your best friend they will find a loving home for their puggy. LOL you sweet summer child. You are in for quite a surprise when you bring that German Shepherd puppy home if you have a hard time dealing with Horace. That said, ESH. You are not obligated to take someone else's dog. I don't like pugs either too many health issues and not something I'd want to take on. However, you could have dealt with it in a kinder way given the situation. Your response was definitely a holy sh. Unpopular option here not the asshole. The OP said that they would help find the dog a good home, and I think that's the best scenario. You wouldn't want your dog to go to a home where it is unwanted. I think it's better for everyone in this situation if the dog is rehoused where it will be loved and appreciated. If the OP does not want the dog they should not be forced to take it or seen as an R. Nah. You're allowed to want whatever dog you want. People on here saying, you should have given this perfect, diplomatic answer are sitting behind their phones with as much time in the world as they want to come up with a response, not being blindsided by a dying friend. Your friend is also concerned about what will happen to his dog. He wasn't graceful in his approach, but, you know, he's dying. I'm willing to cut him some slack. I mean, I wouldn't want a pug either, they're a medical nightmare. But so are German Shepherds just BTW. German Shepherds require real consistent training and simulation. And yeah. Prepare to fork out for at least a gastropexy and maybe some arthritis treatment and training classes. I think not the asshole because your friend just sprung this on you. You probably could have said it better than just that Horace is not a good dog, but perhaps you were surprised. Semi you're the asshole. I would have told them of course Horace will be coming with me. And then found him an appropriate home once your best friend passed away. Not the asshole. You never offered or agreed to look after his dog, so why would he expect that? It's very sad that he is going to leave his dog behind, and your friend should make a plan for his dog, but that doesn't mean you need to have him. Enjoy your puppy. I hope you got him from a good, safe, reputable breeder and not a puppy farm though, because otherwise you'd be T.A. 
there's no issue with your decision not to take your friend's dog that's just a tough situation. You could have been more compassionate, but you're not obligated to adopt his pet in any circumstances. But you're the asshole for getting a dog from a puppy mill. You could have given a shelter dog a home for next to no cost, and maybe saved its life in the process. But instead you decided to support an exploitative, profit-first industry plagued by animal abuse? Rethink your priorities before you welcome any pets into your home. Not the asshole. I guess why your friend was upset but sounds like he hadn't asked you about this before and just sprung it on you. Also a two-year-old dog isn't so old it can't be retrained, but I get not wanting to take a dog you don't like. Not the asshole, I love dogs but not all dogs. I would never want a pug ever in my life. I have a German Shepherd and she is a sweetie. Your friend is upset but I'm sure someone out there will want this dog. That person is not you because you already have chosen a dog you want. People saying you're irresponsible or whatever are reading too much into why you said the pug was bad. With good training and diligence your puppy is gonna make a great buddy. Not the asshole if you're not comfortable taking in his dog, you shouldn't feel forced to. And surely your friend would have others he could ask. In the worst case scenario, surely he could sell the dog make sure he goes to a good home. No, you can't be forced to take on a dog just because your friend is dying. Not the asshole. I had to go back and look but. You've known Horace since he was a puppy. He's two. He is still in the puppy phases. And no one in their right mind would accept a dog they don't like. Not the asshole. And he shouldn't want you who explicitly says you don't like his dog to be the one caring for it. There are plenty of pug lovers out there it should be possible to find a good home for Horace. I've already told my mom flat out we'll help rehome her dog but we won't be taking him in if she dies before him. He's a terror who also poops and pees in the house. He hikes his leg and pees on her couch. He barks at people coming into the house and lunges at them. He doesn't come when called. She's elderly and got him without thoughts on how to train him. We'll find him a safe home but we won't be keeping him. You're the asshole anyone who tells a dying friend that their dog isn't good is very rude. I personally think knowing your limits when accepting rehomed animals is great. I've worked in vet med for 19 years and I'd how many animals I've seen that someone took and couldn't handle. Saying no I don't want this or can't do this is 100 okay. Now you were a little rude to your already scared best friend but overall not the asshole for staying this is out of your wheelhouse and you'll help with rejoining. Nada. People who have dogs or children should learn the most important thing. If you had a puppy start their training at appropriate age. If you had a child start teaching them manners at appropriate age. If you do these you will never face issues like op friend. Not the asshole honestly I wouldn't have taken the pug either, and there is no reason to feel bad for it. Not the asshole for not wanting to adopt the dog, but you're the asshole for how you talk to your friend, even if they weren't dying, and for thinking one dog breed is so much superior than another.